What's up everyone, Jason here with my review of Bobby Hutcherson's Tone Poet release of Stick Up. Stick Up is Hutcherson's fifth record as a leader and one of his most well known. Hutcherson had one of the longest recording careers with Blue Note, bested only by Horace Silver. He worked with Blue Note between 1963 and 1977 and as a leader produced 10 records for the label. At age 12, Hutcherson discovered the work of vibraphonist Milt Jackson, who sat in with Thelonious Monk and Miles Davis on the records that would eventually be collected on Miles Davis and the Modern Jazz Giants. One of my favorite Davis records, by the way. And easy to see why Hutcherson would have been so inspired by Milt Jackson's playing. Hutcherson met Eric Dolphy through his sister, who was Eric's girlfriend at the time, and the two would appear on one of the most iconic jazz recordings of all time. No big deal. Out to lunch. Hutcherson would record four albums as a leader, sit in on many other sessions with the likes of Andrew Hill, Jackie McLean, the aforementioned Eric Dolphy, and others before recording The Reason Why You're Here, Stick Up. The personnel on Stick Up is Bobby Hutcherson on vibraphone, Joe Henderson on tenor sax, McCoy Tyner on piano, Herbie Lewis on bass, and Billy Higgins on drums. These are some extremely hard-hitting musicians, and they had a lot of experience working together. You probably know Joe Henderson from his records Page One, Inner Urge, and In and Out. Of course, you're familiar with McCoy Tyner on The Real McCoy, Tender Moments, and Enlightenment. Herbie Lewis recorded many times with musicians such as Freddie Hubbard, Les McCann, Art Farmer, and McCoy Tyner. And Billy Higgins held it down on some iconic records including Lee Morgan's Sidewinder, Dexter Gordon's Go, and Ornette Coleman's The Shape of Jazz to Come. Stick Up was recorded on July 14th, 1966 and released for Blue Note in March 1968. Five of the six tracks are Hutcherson compositions with the exception being Ornette Coleman's Una Muy Bonita. Hutcherson was an incredible composer and he's in top form on this record. The record opens strong with Coleman's composition setting the tone with a Latin groove. It almost feels like a live session. Your head will definitely be going up and down on this one. Billy Higgins' drums really help to set the tone. Joe Henderson blows his head off on track two. Hutcherson's solos will leave you air vibing along while the rhythm section just hold down a tight, tight groove. McCoy steps in with some really nice soloing as well. The closing of side one is a slow groove that beautifully spotlights Hutcherson's more sensitive side. Again, the rhythm section is on point here as they weave in and out of bluesy rhythms and harmonies. Side two opens with a more avant-garde vibe, but the commitment to swing keeps one foot on the ground and you really feel like you're gonna take off at any moment. The changes are interesting and fresh and the music is meticulously composed. Next, Hutcherson's vibes open with a melody that is familiar and easy on the ears. It's another slower tune and the recording and tone poet reproduction is so phenomenal that you'll immediately think you're front row at the Village Vanguard. The album closes with the swinging and soaring blues mind matter. Everyone takes a solo while the rhythm section sets the groove and when it's over, you're not ready for it to end. You could take another album, it's that good. If I was gonna classify this record in two words, it would have to be groovy swing. The music is sophisticated, the chord changes keep things interesting, and it never gets boring or stale. Highlights on this record for me are probably 8-4 Beat and Black Circle. Um, they're two of my favorite tunes on Stick Up, but honestly, this is a record to listen to from beginning to end without reservation. The sequencing of the record takes you on a true journey up and over, below and through. It tells a musical story, 
and you will not be disappointed when it's all said and done, except that you'll want it to continue. This Tone Poet reissue was released on November 4th of 2022. In March 2023, this record is still affordably priced, but I imagine when the availability dries up, these will shoot up like most other Tone Poets, so get yours now if you haven't already. This record is dynamic and balanced, open and airy. Everything is right on point. You feel like you're front row, as I said, at the Village Vanguard. And Tone Poet's handling of this is spotless. Tone Poet, of course, is the audiophile reissue series of recordings issued from the Blue Note family of labels. Blue Note's Tone Poet offering pays extreme attention to detail from the photography and artwork on the covers to the all analog mastering by Kevin Gray. They're issued on 180 gram vinyl. They feature a gatefold with session photos. And when you pick up a Tone Poet, you know you're holding something substantial. The kicker is that these records are really affordable considering what you get. When these records come out, they're under $40 US and it's staggering what you get for that $40. Beautifully presented, covering gatefolds, superior quality sound, and most if not all of the Tone Poet selections are out of this world recordings. I have to give this record five stars. It's truly a fantastic example of Hutcherson's avant-garde approach to jazz. And it's an understatement to say that the record features a talented group of musicians. This record just swings, and you must have it in your jazz collection. This record's for the person that loves the sound of great vibes in their jazz. If you're a fan of Milt Jackson, Lionel Hampton, or Cal Jader, you will love the more modern sounding talents of Bobby Hutcherson. Also, if you're into hard bop, cerebral, sophisticated jazz, again, you will love this album. Other amazing records by Bobby Hutcherson, two of which are also part of the Tone Poets series, are 1966's Components, 1967's Oblique, 1970's San Francisco, and 1974's Cirrus, all of which I will be doing reviews of on this channel. That's gonna do it for my review of Bobby Hutcherson's Stick Up, but wait! If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You're gonna have a chance to be entered to win this record, the Tone Poet Double LP John Coltrane Blue Train with the additional tracks on the second record. This is an amazing record. Please subscribe so you have an opportunity to pop this on your turntable. You will not be disappointed. That's all I got for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.